Welcome back guys, this is your boy Ali. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to change your default Wi-Fi password and username for the BGW320 device. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to change that and different ways of changing that. Um, I did get a couple of requests on how to do that. Um, not a lot of people have the BGW320 gateway right now, but I've, I'm seeing a lot of people have been deployed with this type of gateway who have fiber uh, in their area. So I think this would be a useful video for them. And of course, it's probably a very basic thing for advanced users, but I, I feel like there's a lot of people out there who are not tech savvy and this video is for them. So if this video frustrates you or you think this is such a newbie video, then please do not watch it because as I said, this video is for people who are beginners at this type of stuff and want to be able to change Wi-Fi and passwords and usernames uh, by themselves. Okay, so I think we should get started now. So as I was saying that your when you first receive your BGW320 device, it comes with a default network name, a default network name, and a password. So what you want to do is first thing to change it. Now there are two ways to change that. Um, the first way is obviously AT&T has provided you with a very, very cool app, which this video is obviously not sponsored by AT&T just to throw that out there, but they have introduced a very, very cool app. Uh, it's called the smart home app. And uh, if you don't have it, download it. <clears throat> I have it personally and I use it every day. So, Pretty much, if you have logged into that, I have set set up Face ID so you don't have to put the password in every time you log into it because I forget my password all the time. So Face ID is the best way and most of the apps have that, right? So you can log into that and change it. And the second way of changing your network name and password is logging into the default gateway, which a lot of people who are not so tech savvy or they don't like to do that, right? They, it's, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit less convenient to go to your PC, put in the IP address and log in and, and all that stuff. So I think it's just a lot easier to open up your app and change it from, from there on then. And this is something very new. Um, some providers have started to do that and AT&T is one of them. Um, they've been really up to speed on how their apps perform um, as to how well you could configure their routers uh, in comparison what you could do f um, on the website. So I think it's a really, really cool app. So check it out, a smart home app by AT&T if you do have AT&T service at your home for internet. Okay, so let's get into it. You know, I took some notes on how to do that so I could just be precise about the steps and uh, tell you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through go through the list of steps on how to do it on the smart home app, which is the easier way of doing, changing your network name and your password. Okay, so first thing you wanna obviously do is uh, log into it, right? So if you haven't set up the app yet, go ahead, set it up. You could type in the password or you could do face ID, which I do myself. So, now, AT&T recommends that for best Wi-Fi performance, keep the same Wi-Fi name and password for both networks. So if you have the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz, it's best if you keep the same password because what it does is a lot of times it toggles back and forth and it finds you the best um, service in, within the house if you do have, let's say, both running and sometimes if you have five gigahertz, which is not running so optimal, then it'll switch to 2.4. So that's why they recommend that. Now, the first thing you wanna do is log into uh, or sign into the Smart Home Manager app. Once you do that, uh, you click on My Wi-Fi. I think that's to the top left of the app. And then choose Edit next to Name or Password you want to change. Now there's going to be different names over there. So you want to click on edit on the one that you want to change, right? So, so once you click edit, select X to clear the existing information. 
So if you have previously stored password, if you click X, that'll remove those. And then enter a new name or a password for, for whatever you want it to be. So next, going forward, that's going to be your net network name and the network password uh, on your uh, when you're scanning for Wi-Fi's. And of course, then after that, you just simply save and then reconnect your devices with your updated network info. So what's going to happen is that it's going to probably throw you off the internet because you've recently or you've just now changed your network name and password. It's going to throw you off the Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is pull up your phone and then reconnect to the new network name and password. And then once you do that, you're good to go. So that was how to change it from the smart home app. Very easy. Like I said, um, I would definitely recommend doing it from, from the Wi-Fi app itself um, because it's just so convenient, right? I mean, on the fly, you just go ahead and change it without having to log into PCs. Okay, uh, for the people who want to have more control, obviously, and and be able to do multiple things aside from just changing the Wi-Fi password or network name. Um, you could uh, log in through a PC and, uh, and I'll tell you exactly how to do that. Um, so, so first thing you want to do, uh, go, uh, do is go to your gateway settings. Um, so obviously I've mentioned this in my previous videos on how to log into your bgw320 gateway if you have if you don't know how to do that you can watch one of my previous videos and it'll show you but i'll just repeat it again if you are new to this channel so um you're gonna type 192.168.1.1 um sorry i'll repeat that again you're gonna type in 192.168.1.254 that's your default ip address to be able to connect to your BGW320 device. So once you put that in the URL, URL and press enter, you're going to be taken to the status page. And of course, I've shown all this before in the previous videos. So go ahead, check it out if you haven't seen it before. So then what you want to do is uh, select home no network and then click on Wi-Fi tab. And then after you click on Wi-Fi tab, it's just straight up not going to let you uh, for security reasons, they ask you for access code um, because that's a security feature. If you do try to log into um, your PC to be able to change the network name and password. So the reason for that security feature is because if you do have access to the PC um, and you're able to get into this without any security features, then there's a lot of advanced level stuff that you can make changes to uh, in the home uh, in your home router. So access code they require for you for you to get access and get authenticated before you could go ahead and make changes. So the access code, where do you get it? You're going to find that on the back of your router. It's going to say access code. Put that access code. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult password with like asterisks and all kinds of special characters and letters and numbers. Um, so go ahead and get retrieve that from the back of your router and then you're going to enter the device access code loc located on the back of your gateway like i was telling you and then you're going to select continue after that you're going to go to the advanced options tab and you're going to click that and then you're going to scroll to the home ssid or guest ssid now whichever one you want to change the network name and password to it could be your home ssid or your guest um, most likely it's going to be home because guest um, you probably don't need to change that till you have somebody come over and you want to temporarily create a guest um, id or something and i've made a video about that as well so if you want to go check that out but for home ssid you're going to scroll down to that and then you have multiple network names so you're going to have network name and password for 2.4 gigahertz um, 2.4 gigahertz guest and then 5.0 gigahertz so you could change all three and uh, you know network name you could just put maybe a symbol on at the end of it saying that this is a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz just to just so you know when you're connecting to the ssid which network it is now for the password you want to try to keep the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz the same because it, it could toggle back and forth to give you the best optimal connection throughout your house okay so wi-fi name make sure that your user ssid uh, enable is on 
and then enter the custom name or the network name that you want to enter into the network name field okay and then second thing wi-fi password make sure you select wpa in the security drop down or whichever level of security that you want to do and then enter a new password in the password field and once you do that you hit save once you hit save you're going to get dropped off you're going to get thrown off that website and your router is going to kind of reconfigure your network SSID and everything. So if you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it's going to throw you off. And same thing as the app, you're going to have to reconnect to your new network name and put in the new password. But go ahead and reconnect to your new updated network information. And from there on, you're all good to go. So I appreciate you watching this video. If this helped you in any way, hit the thumbs up. And till next time, see you guys later.